Chapman, publisher of Sheen Magazine. And Sammy Haynes, editor-in-chief of Sheen Magazine. Thank you for joining another episode of Sheen Talk Live, and we are weeks away from the Kimmy Awards. Yes, we are. 2018, <laughs> April the 27th through the 29th. Yes. At the Marriott Marquis. Yes. Please join us there. Miss Deshaun Bullard will be That's there right. with us. That's right. Bullard. 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 Right. <laughs> like bullet realty, but no Ken, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that. Boulard. Yes, yeah. Boulard. Boulard. So you're going to be a part of Kimmy Awards. Yes, I am. And I'm very excited to be a part of it. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, I'm yes. glad you're going to be there because you are a hair loss specialist. I am. And we will be having a panelist for that. So what will we be talking about? You know, I think one of the things that we would be talking about is a movement of what I say, join the fight against hair loss. Great. Because according to the American Academy of Dermatology, almost half of African-American women at some point experience hair loss. You and, know, men. And, and men. And men, and <laughs> men. But, but when we talk about hair loss with women, right. we got hormones, we got a right. bunch of stuff that goes right. on. Right. With men, you guys kind of have one or two things. Yeah. But women, we have a plethora mm -hmm. of things that cause us to have uh, hair loss or thinning. And so it's important for us to talk about it, get people to join the movement, but more importantly, educate women on how to stop it as soon as, as soon as you start seeing it happen. Right. right. So what are some of the first five things that will cause hair yeah. loss? And I'm so glad you asked me that because it's just that simple, five things. Number one is, is the things we do to our hair. Mm -hmm. As black women, um, we get a chance to do weaves, wigs, extensions, braids, mm -hmm. uh, locks, anything tight pulling, mechanical damage as we call it that will help our hair to fall out. Mm -hmm. So that's the number one thing is self-inflicted hair loss. Oh, wow. But number two is our diet. Mm -hmm. No one is eating the right foods anymore, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we're all going out eating at fast food restaurants. We're not getting the nutrition we need in our body. So therefore we produce malnutrition strands. Wow. So, you know, our hair is an extension of our health. Mm -hmm. If we have, uh, if we got sugar diabetes, we're gonna have sugar diabetes hair. If you have thyroid, sugar hair. Diabetes hair. you're going to have thyroid hair. <laughs> and so, you know, we, it's, though, that's, that's like number two. And then number three is hormonal, mm -hmm. you right. know, things that go on with our body, whether it be um, uh, hormonal from having a baby or from premenopause, postmenopause, uh, fibroids, mm -hmm. you know, things that happen in our, in our body. Number four is uh, birth control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't realize that. Birth control methods is a huge, huge, people don't wow. understand, especially with IUDs. And mm -hmm. then, you know, and then lastly, just uh, illnesses, you know, cancer, you know, thyroid, like we said, right. lupus. Um, but how do we still get a hold of that if we have some form of illness? So those are the top five reasons why we why we lose our hair. Right. And at the Kimmy Awards, we'll just kind of dive more into it, allow people to ask questions, to yeah. get educated, to help them have the best hair ever. That's and that's a part of our empowerment session, which is called Let's Talk About Hair. That is an entire panel of hair specialists, coaches, motivators around hair because our hair is important you know yes. for for men and for women but i know women they have a real problem in terms of if their hair is not right they want to do it oh, over yes. and over again so be a part of that let's talk about panel let's talk about hair panel i say you don't want to miss it so we're excited to have you there yes right? well no thank you guys very much for having me of course and you also have uh, products for that yes yes so, you know neurotrust products was developed in 1998 um, we actually started with just one product after working with dermatologists understanding you know, we say growing your hair back is not magic, it's science. Mm. That's our mantra that is, don't try to use it because it is tra trademark, because <laughs> it is. But it, um, we just need people to understand that grow, we're going to grow our hair automatically. Mm -hmm. If we don't do anything, our hair grows. God designed our body for our hair to grow. But we live in a time where the food is not good, things are not going on. But if we understand the science of what makes hair healthy, you know, then we understand what products we need to help that. And right. so our products just focus in that area. We are the number one multicultural hair thinning brand. That's what we focus on, hair thinning and giving your hair long life. That's wow. who we are. We've been around since 1998. And so the name of it again? The name of it is called Nuritress. And uh, Nuritress is spelled N-O-U-R-I-T-R-E-S-S, -S, which is short for Nourish Your Tresses. Oh, oh I nice. like it. Yes. Nourish Your Tresses. Get it. Yeah, take the, get take it. the <laughs> I-S, you know, the S-H off of Nourish and then add Tress. And so you have Nuritress. So like how did you it. get into hair? You know, cosmetology is a, a myriad of things, but how did you find your niche in this market? When I was in college at Tuskegee University, HBCU. Booker T, one of Booker T kids, I'm one of Booker T kids, Booker T kids. Um, I was the girl on college campus who 
who did hair. Mm -hmm. But the crazy thing about it, you know, I have what we have on the internet called the Neurotrust story. I was actually the, the young girl in second grade who my mother cut my hair off like your length. And I went to school and the kids teased me and said, Baldy locks, Baldy locks, where are your three bears? By the time I got to eighth right. grade, they said God may win and God may err. But when he made Deshaun, he forgot the hair. And uh, oh. it really... So your, your hair was like that all the way through middle school as well? Well, you know, from second grade, it was like literally like how yours was. And, yeah. and this was in the 70s. So that wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I really got teased. But by the right. time I got to eighth grade, it was a little longer. But, you know, boys just teased me. I didn't feel pretty. So I went through high school not feeling, you know, pretty. By the time I got to college, I was trying to be prettier. You know, by seeing the girls from the Atlanta, I'm from Chicago, so seeing all the Southern peaches, you know, from the, the Southern girls who had the beautiful hair and the makeup. Mm -hmm. right. I come from the city of Chicago and I wanted to be pretty. And I got with some friends, made a decision, started doing hair naturally, because guess what? My dad did hair and his mother did hair, which is my grandmother, but I didn't grow up with them. Mm -hmm. So it was in my genes to just start doing hair and, and, and to do it well. Right. Wow. And I became the girl on campus to do hair. And after I graduated, Moved on here to Atlanta, working in IT. The, you know, you know. I heard the last interview you right. had. She was in IT, and I was in IT. That's how I got to Atlanta. Wow. But I decided I wanted to pursue the passion that I felt like God gave me. And who would have ever thought that the product I would come out with would be tied to my pain as a child mm -hmm. of making women feel beautiful, making them feel confident and smiling as it relates to, you know, their hair feeling, you know, and, and looking pretty. That was so wow. crazy that you said that. Today must have been a very interesting day because earlier we had an interview with Medina. Uh, in his interview, he talked about pain mm. and how pain really births opportunity, mm -hmm. ideas uh, within us. And you're a testament of that as well. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And wow. I would like to say to those that picked at Deshaun when she was smaller, she has a beautiful head of hair now. <laughs> Take a look at it. Back at you. <laughs> and it's my own. And it's her own. <laughs> yeah. It's my own. I and like it's healthy. Yeah. And, it's he and it looks healthy. Yes. 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 I remember Black Panther, the lady said, I can't believe I got this thing on my head. And when it's time for her to take it off, she threw it off. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. A lot so of women most of like us that, should though. do that. Yeah, we, we should, should pull, right. that, mm -hmm. pull that wig off and use our own natural beauty. Yes. Right. yes. I truly believe yes. it. Yes. So how can we meet, um, get you on social media? You can get me on social media at Nuri Tress um, on Instagram and at Nuri Tress on Facebook. And personally, you can get me at the Hair Coach ATL. They call me the Hair Coach. Nuri Tress again. Nuri Tress is N-O-U-R-I-T-R-E-S-S. Wonderful. So look her up. And if you have some um, hair loss, give her a call or send her a message and make sure you're, it's worked out. Yes. And don't forget, the Kimmy Awards 2018, let's talk about hair panel. Deshaun Bullard will be one of our panelists, and you don't want to miss it. April the 27th through the 29th here at the Marriott Marquis. April the 27th through the 29th. Get your tickets, SheMagazine.com. And make sure you pick up your copy of She Magazine at Books, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, and of course you can go online at SheMagazine.com. Thank you. A copy of She Magazine at your local Walmart, Target, Barnes & Noble, and Books A Million. Visit www.shemagazine.com to subscribe today.